Welcome you all students. Come back to our next video. Today our topic is about change in the state of matter. Before enter into a topic, we just recall about our previous class. In previous class, we learned about what is matter, what matter is made up of, intermolecular force and spaces, and we also see about the three states of matter. But the three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. And here. I given the comparative study of the properties of solid, liquid, and gases. First, the property is shape. In solid, it is fixed, and in liquid, it has no fixed shape, and in gas, it has no fixed shape. Arrangement: very tightly packed in solid, loosely packed in liquid, and very loosely packed in gas. Force of attraction is very strong in solid, strong in liquid. Are negligible in gas. Intermolecular spaces are negligible in solid, medium in liquid, maximum in gas. And volume, it is definite in shape of solid, and in liquid also it is definite and has no definite shape in gas. Compressibility, it is non-compressible in solid and can be compressed slightly in liquid and can be compressed easily in gas. And these are the comparative study of the properties of solid, liquid, and gases. Now we enter into our today topic. Before that, today I give some new words to learn. So students, repeat after me. First word is interconversion. I N T E O C O N V E R S I O N. Interconversion. Melting. Y M E L T I N G melting freezing F O E E is a tie N Z freezing condensation C O N D E N S A T I O N condensation sublimation S U B L I M A T I O N sublimation Today our new words are interconversion, melting, freezing, condensation, and sublimation. Now we enter into our today topic. Our today topic is about change in the states of matter. Change in the state of matter. Matter changes its state when heated or cooled to a right degree. The process called the interconversion of state because it is reversible. Clearly. When we take the solid as matter, when we heat, it gives a state of liquid. Where, when we take the liquid state as matter, when we cool, it changes into the matter as solid. Therefore, we know the process is called the interconversion, and this process is also reversible. Solid can be changed into liquid while heating, and liquid can be changed into the solid state while cooling. This process called interconversion, and it is also a reversible process. Where matter can be changed from one state to another, a substance can exist in any of the physical state. We can change the physical state by changing the temperature or pressure. For example, water can be changed from the liquid to the solid ice at zero degree Celsius, and from liquid. To the gaseous state at the hundred degree Celsius, the process can also be reversed. If we cool the stream, we get water, which on further cooling changes to ice. Based on above observation, we can conclude that water can exist in all the three states like solid, liquid, and gases. And change in the state can be brought about by changing the temperature. And pressure. Other substances also behave similarly at different temperature and pressure. Even gold, silver, iron, and copper can occur in all the three states, but not under common condition. Now, we see about the interconversion. There are three interconversion states: solid to liquid, liquid to gas, and solid to vapor. First, we see about the solid to liquid interconversion. 
when a solid is heated to a particular temperature it changes into liquid this process called melting and the temperature at which a solid melts is called as melting point clearly when solid can be heated to a particular temperature it changes into the liquid this conversion is called as the solid liquid interconversion this process is also called as the melting for example conversion of the ice solid to the water liquid on heating now we move on to the freezing point conversion of the liquid into the solid on cooling is called as the freezing as shown in this image when we take the liquid it can be converted into the solid while cooling for example the melting point of the ice is at 0 degree celsius which is also the freezing point of water and a solid coexists with the corresponding liquid at the melting point or the freezing point of the liquid therefore melting point of the ice is about 0 degree celsius for example formation of the ice solid on the cooling water liquid next we move on to topic of liquid gas interconversion liquid can be changes into vapors at temperature far below their boiling points that is how wet clothes dry without our having to heat them the water in them evaporates or change into the vapor slowly similarly when we take the wet cloth in our home we observe that after an hour it will be dry without having any heat because the water will be evaporates or change into the vapor slowly clearly when we take the liquid as matter while heating it can be changes into the vapor this process called as the liquid gas interconversion now we move on to the vaporization conversion of the liquid into vapor on heating is called the vaporization and it occurs at all the temperatures for example conversion of the water liquid into the water vapor next we move on to the condensation conversion of the vapor into liquid on cooling is called the condensation as shown in this image when we take the vapor it can be convert into the liquid while the process of cooling this is known as the condensation for example conversion of the water vapor to the liquid water on cooling next we move on to the topic of solid vapor interconversion some solid change directly into vapor without passing to the liquid state this process is called the sublimation where when we take any solid substances it can be directly converted into vapor without passing into liquid state it is known as the sublimation for example we take the ammonium chloride as a solid state when it can be heat it can be directly converted into the vapor state without passing to the liquid state this process is called as the sublimation when cool the vapor of such substances directly solidify the solid is obtained is called as the sublimate now here are some of the examples like napkin ball camphor can sublime at the room temperature once again we recall about our today topic today we see about the topic of change in the state of matter in this change in the state of matter we see today three types of interconversion one is solid to liquid interconversion second liquid to gas interconversion and third is solid to vapor interconversion in first type solid to liquid interconversion while heating the solid we get the result as liquid is known as a solid to liquid interconversion in second while we heating the liquid it gives the matter as gas is known as the liquid to gas interconversion and third while heating the solid we get vaporization without passing through the liquid is known as the solid to vapor interconversion and then we also see the melting point freezing point and what is vaporization condensation sublimation and sublimate i hope that you are clear about the today's topic students and this is the end of our chapter 2 known as matter now i going to give you some of the worksheets 
first is from the objective question first question is in nature water exists in we need to say how many state second question intermolecular space is the greater in which state short answer question first question is what is liquefaction we know that liquefaction is also known as the condensation so you need to write about the condensation and second question is write about the solid liquid in the convention we know when we take the solid as matter and while heating it convert into the liquid state this conversion is called as the solid liquid interconversion it can be convert within the matter so it is known as the interconversion and you need to write it and submit it as the follow up work students i hope that you are clear and understand about the chapter 2 students i see you in the next video thank you students